Welcome back to the Ichi Mahjong Guide. In today's video, we're going to talk about some miscellaneous things with regards to scoring, the first of which being Tenbo or point sticks. So if you're playing online or on a video game, you don't really have to worry about this. But if you're playing in real life and you're not using some sort of app to calculate uh, points for you, you'll generally be using a Tenbo or point sticks. They're generally four different types. On the left, there's a set of white sticks and on the right, there's a set of colored ones. The white ones are usually more common, but colored point sticks make the points easier to distinguish, and they generally look more modern. Uh, for instance, in Akagi, they use white point sticks, whereas in Saki, they use the colored point sticks. So we're just gonna go through the values really quick. These ones at the top here, with the kind of ornate pattern of dots, those are worth 10,000 points. The next one down with five dots, are 5,000 points. This next one you should recognize regardless of whether you've seen Tenbo or not. These ones with the single dot are 1,000 points. And these next ones down with eight dots in a rectangle shape are 100 points each. So in general, you'll start a game with uh, 25,000 or 30,000 points consisting of different amounts of each value of point stick. Point sticks usually only come in these sets where they have four different ones, but to make scoring easier, uh, generally if you have access to more than one set of point sticks, uh, for instance in this case a set of colored sticks and a set of white point sticks, you'll use green uh, 100 point sticks as 500 point sticks and you'll leave the white 100 point sticks as 100 point sticks. So for instance, this here is a set that I use when I play. So it goes uh, 10,000, 5,000, 1,000, 500, 100, just to make the payments a little easier. So you're not tossing a bunch of uh, 100.6 everywhere. Or if you just have a set of white sticks and you can maybe move some uh, green point sticks off your friends, you could use a set like this, same thing, 10,000, 5,000, 1,000, 500, and 100. And regarding manners when uh, paying other players with point sticks, the main idea is to move around as few point sticks as possible. So if you uh, end up dealing into, let's say, a, a Hanemon from one of the other players, and you have to pay them 12,000 points, you shouldn't just take out 12 1,000 point sticks and toss them over to the other side of the table. You should take uh, one 10,000 point stick and two 1,000 point sticks and kind of set them uh, over by the opponent to whom you have to make the payment. Uh, maybe like halfway or two-thirds of the way over. Uh, don't just throw the sticks like they do in Akagi. They just toss them onto the table and the winner has to pick them all up. So they should be placed on the table clearly for everyone to see so that the correct payment is made. Uh, you shouldn't hand them to the other person for, uh, from hand to hand. Uh, you should just place them gently on the table so that everyone can see the payment and that the winner of the hand can pick them up. In the event that they have to give you change, they will do the same thing. So for instance, if you deal into a, a 3,900 point hand, ideally you will give them a 5,000 point stick and they'll, they will hand you back 1,100 points, just like that. Again, uh, just place the sticks gently on the table so that everyone can clearly see that the payments are correct. It seems like a little thing, but it's important to make sure that everyone is aware of this so that the game can progress smoothly. Okay, and next we're gonna talk about ranking. Generally, the rankings will be determined by uh, the points. So whoever has the most points is in first place, whoever has the second most points is in second place, and so on. But sometimes there will be an exact tie for points, and the way this is handled is usually determined based on whatever set of rules you're playing by. A common thing is that for the players to just take a tie, so if the two people who have the most points have the exact same amount of points, they'll both get first place, and then the other two players will just get third and fourth place. But one thing that is often seen is that ties will be broken by the order in which the players were east. So a player who was east in the very first hand of the game would beat uh, all the other players in a tie, and the player who was uh, second east, for instance, would beat the player who was fourth east when considering the rotation of the wins in a tie. So in tournaments, that's not commonly used, but 
it is a thing that they mention in Saki. So it, it just depends on the rules by which you play. And the reason that matters is for the next two things we're going to talk about. Uh, the first of which is Oka. Uh, Oka is just a winner's bonus. And the way it works is that when you play a Hanchan, you'll generally start with 30,000 points, but 5,000 of those points from each player will be anteed up as the Oka uh, for the player who ends up in first place to claim at the end. So this doesn't affect rankings at all. It, it's just based on the final ranking and the player in first gets to claim those extra 20,000 points. It really doesn't do anything unless you are gambling or maybe if you're playing a 2v2 teams uh, like in Usagi or something where your team ends up with less points than the other team but one of the members on your team ends up in first place and the Oka changes the outcome of the game. It's generally not used though. I guess it would be most important for gambling like if your 30,000 points were equated to like $30 that you bet on the game, you're essentially putting $5 in as the ante. So the winner, uh, along with whatever points they ended up with, gets to claim that extra $20. You know, it's, it's not really relevant, but it's something that you should probably be aware of just in case. The next thing that we're going to talk about is Uma, which is uh, much more relevant than Oka. The UMA is an adjustment made to the final scores based on ranking. And these adjustments are generally seen as a payment from fourth place to first place and a smaller payment from third place to second place. So a common uh, UMA would be that fourth place gives 15,000 points to first place and third place gives 5,000 points to second place. And uh, again, this is more for gambling, but it also... Uh, is commonly used in tournaments where you're not playing necessarily for rank, but you're playing for an overall score over however many Hanchans that you play during the course of the tournament. This Uma encourages you to get higher ranking rather than just trying to get a positive score. And again, this has no effect on the rankings themselves and is an adjustment to the points applied after the ranking. And if you're just playing for fun with friends, it's not something you have to worry about. They're just a few small things that you should be aware of just in case, but the Oka and Uma are not really that important to actually playing the game. Alright, so to review, in this video we covered a few things regarding tempo or point stakes and ranking. We also briefly covered the Oka and Uma, so if you have any questions feel free to leave them down below, and thank you so much for watching.